the $50,000 jackpot hits in 30 laps. We're green at Lakeside. Courtney the first to one, but shots trying to look on the outside. Can't quite get it. Enrico Abreu strong down to the bottom and a slider on shots for a second. Big move from Rico. Shots crosses it back over, tries to at least, but Rico pedals through the middle and able to hold Donnie off down the back straightaway to go to second. And if you go back up to the front of the field and you'll see Tyler Courtney now is going to start getting into lap traffic and that's going to be a challenge for him and we've got a couple of guard around and some contact in turn four. Courtney barely misses it. That's it, that's the choose cone. So if you go inside towards the infield, you're starting on the inside lane. If you go to the outside, you're starting on the outside. Courtney's on the gas first. Mason tucks back in line. Rico working on the high side. Roars Whoa. right around Spencer Baston. Wow. That's why he wanted to start up top. Gave him a great burst of momentum. And can he get going before Sunshine really gets going? Battle for the lead into turn number one. Rico to the high side. Courtney tried to fade him up the racetrack. Can Rico get there? He does. Rico Abreu to the lead down the back straightaway as we come to 20 to go. And Courtney bobbled a little bit there in turn four on the bottom. And now Courtney's going to go to the top, try to gain some of that speed that Rico Abreu showed up there. Mason gave him a lane. Gio wasn't able to capitalize on it, but now he goes to the bottom three wide for the third spot. Austin McCarl out of nowhere, feeling racy, rolling around the bottom in that 88 car. He's challenging Baston, Gravel, and Gio Selzy for the bottom step on the podium here. Boy, Selzy is being able to put that bright orange car wherever he wants it, whether it's the bottom or the top, he has been able to put it there. And now McCarl's giving him a challenge. Well, a couple of strong ones right there running third and fourth race for third. Once again, Gio Selzy, Austin McCarl at the very bottom of the racetrack. Going to throw a big slider on Gio, but left him a lane to drive around the top side. Gio took advantage of it. He holds on to the third spot, lap traffic, kind of impeding what Austin McCarl wanted to do maybe there. Now here's Gio, Sunshine slid through the middle. Gio running him down, down the back stretch of the race for second. Strikes while he can. Slider for second. Gio Selzy up to the cushion. Courtney turns it down the hill, but Gio catches the moisture, slams the door on Courtney and goes to second. Well, what a great battle, and Courtney almost lost it there going into two and coming off, and he's just lost another position. This one to McCarl, sells he into that second spot chasing Rico Abreu, but it's a pretty significant advantage, 1.9 seconds for Abreu. Courtney's got some sort of problem on the bottom of the racetrack. He moved back up in one and two, and now we got one slow. It's Chase Randall right in front of Rico Abreu, who was sliding up to him and missed him barely. Boy, another close call for the leaders in slower traffic, and Rico's got a flat right rear. Oh, the race leader, Rico Abreu, with a flat right rear tire. Down the hill we go, green flag. Carson Macedo runs fifth as well from the back. Battle for the lead, here's oh. Austin McCarl to the inside of Gio Selzy. Gio kept his foot in the throttle. Cleared him down the backstretch. McCarl comes back again. Short slider across the nose of Gio. Gio crosses him over four to go. And that just brings Courtney back into the mix a little bit closer as well. So the three of them are so tight, but Selzy continues to hold the lead. Everybody's around the top side except uh, Carson Macedo, who runs fifth. He's challenging David Gravel for the fourth spot. Tyler Courtney moves down there as well. Three to go for Gio. Courtney running it deep, trying to get that second spot. Gets it from McCarl. What can Courtney do? Can he get wound back up? He doesn't need McCarl to keep sliding him like that. Gio does, though. He's away with the lead. Now it's a three-man race for the second spot as Carson Macedo tries to shove his nose in there. McCarl slides Courtney for second. Three-car race for the runner-up spot, and the $20,000 payday for second as the white flag flies for Gio Selzy. What a race, but all of this battling behind Gio is allowing him to get away. Carson Macedo started outside of row 11. He's moved to the second spot. David Gravel's third, but it's all about hot sauce. Gio Selzy out of turn number four. No, we go yellow. Debris in turn four. Oh, my word. Oh. Here we go, coming back to the green. Selzy on the gas, green flag. Macedo down to the bottom trying to get a good run off of two to challenge 
Selzy, but it doesn't happen. And now Courtney getting into the mix, running the top, looking for a second on Macedo. White flag for Gio Selzy, heartbreak for Austin McCarl. He's off the pace on the back straightaway. Battle for second, Macedo to the inside of Tyler Courtney. They are not close enough down the back straightaway though. Through three and out of turn number four, Macedo rolls the bottom, but he's not gonna get there. $50,000 to Gio Selzy.